Welcome to my Goodbye Pork Pie Hat guitar lesson in chord melody style. Hi, my jazz friends all over the world. Sandra Schumann here. Greetings from Austria. You can download uh, the tab from the link down below in the description box. Please also check out my lesson shop guitarversum.com for more lesson material like this one. And now let's get started. We have a hardly recognizable 12 bar blues in E flat minor here and the first phrase is going to be four bars. We start with the pickup on the B flat and the first thing is an E flat 9 chord. So it actually a blues is a dominant blues actually but the song ends in minor, the fourth degree is in minor so let's say it's in E flat minor but it starts with an E flat 9 chord here uh, with the D flat in bass so that's an inversion then immediately we go to an E flat 7 sharp 9 chord nice alteration and then we have a B9 13 chord you may not know this this is the standard B flat, uh, B13 chord and this is another alternative voicing where we start on the third of the chord. Then go in to the B9 chord. And now it goes to E major actually. That's maybe some kind of triton substitute for B flat the five degree. So what we do is here's the melody then I'll leave this line here add the G sharp and the E on bottom and we have a beautiful E major 13 chord that's really nice and I just glide over to the 8th fret and shape a E major 9 chord that's like this E major 9 but without the root because I have the root in the low A string anyway right um, can play the bass again or not it doesn't really matter back to the melody leave this line here and play the a7 flat 5 all right and that's actually a substitute for the e flat there's so many substitutes in this song it's really hard to analyze and to know what uh, Charles Mingus actually intended to do here then we go back to the um to the um uh, B flat pickup bar and now we have something that is char characteristic for the entire song and that's uh, the use of the usage of sus 9 chords and here we have the first one D flat 9 sus 4 and the melodies so I harmonize this D flat 9 sus 4 then I go to harmonize this I take a D11 that's just a passing chord. It's all chordal voicings. This is a chordal voicing. This is, well, something like a chordal voicing. And I go back. Second time, I don't do the same thing, so it's too, too much. And now B9 is 4. I guess you know this B9 is 4, but also add the 7th on top. Oh, sorry. 
B9 says 4. And then we have a really cool movement by moving these two fingers to the left to catch that A flat on top or G or G sharp. And now we have an, a B9 13. So this is a sus chord and that's the regular mixer chord. 9 13. That's really cool. Then I have the melody within the chord. And then it's back to the D flat 9 sus. D11. Melody. Uh, actually played a melody with the uh, pinky. Because now I add an E flat 7 sus 4 chord. Right? 6664. And then I changed the lower part to an E flat 7 to resolve it. Just play the lower three strings. Right? Let me repeat the entire phrase one for you, the first four bars at slow tempo. Here we go. You can help to keep the free video tutorials of this channel running by becoming a member of the channel and you can do so by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button which also grants you access to my mini lessons. You can also say a little thank you by clicking the thanks button and donate a little something. This really helps with the productions of the videos. Thanks a lot. Here's phrase two. It's actually the next five bars because that makes more sense to me in this case. Um, melody, pickup note, and now we go to the fourth degree. It's minor, A flat minor nine. A flat minor 11. Then a melody is in here already. If you prefer to, you can also play this not within the chord but separately. I played within the chord. And now we have a B9 13 again. That we had this before and now we go into this B to this B9. Middle finger slides the melody. <clears throat> F half diminished now. With the 11th on top actually. So that's F half diminished 11. Bridge over to the uh, E flat on top, next melody tone. And now we have B flat altered, that's the fifth degree. Here's the root, right? That's a B flat 7 sharp 5 sharp 9 actually. Going to the B flat 7 uh, sharp 5. And then I go down. That's actually a B minor triad, right? Coming B flat altered is um, the seventh degree of the B melodic minor scale. So this triad lies within that alteration sound. Going to C7 flat 5. Add the 13 on top, that's the melody. And that's the original Mingus thing. He plays the E flat and the E at the same time. F13 then, that's next. Then I really let it go. I don't play it like this because my fingers are too small. I just let everything go. A and F, melody. And B9 without the root. Here would be the root. Then you need to have one finger going this one or this one. I find this one doesn't sound as much. If I lift this one, I can hear it. And I don't want it to hear. I go play the bass note and I'll play it. It goes to E major seven again. And I'll play a little run. That's D sharp, the major seven to the root. So I arpeggio it. And then I have this, this um, chord in mind. I just arpeggio it. That's beautiful, isn't it? Melody. That's an A9 13. That's the same as we had before with the B stuff. 
but I don't need the A here. I, I play the A as the open string. So that's a lot easier. And then I just fill the chord with some picking. Now I'll go to A flat 9 here. Here's the root, A flat. And again, some picking, right? Ah, oh, sorry. Right. And that was it, actually. Let's play the uh, last five bars at slow tempo. Now here's the last phrase already. These are the last uh, three bars, bars and then you would repeat everything if you want to solo or, or just play, keep on playing some chord melody stuff. And at the end you add two bars of the ending. I just include that right away. Okay, <clears throat> so we're on the, fifth, on the fifth degree now. B flat, nine sus four. We have a couple of sus chords again now. <laughs> Up all the way till the A flat. That's where the melody is. Then um, melody is F sharp. I play an A flat 9 sus 4 chord. I just move it. So the chord actually is B flat, but I substitute it with an A flat also. Going back to B flat, but now only till the B string because now this is the melody. Right? B, 9 says 4, and all the way only till the G string to catch the correct melody tone. And on we go with the sus chords. Now we're on D flat, and we have that A on top. That's really weird. I just strum through all, through all of them. I hammer it on, so it sounds like more like an embellishment and not like a chord, because as a chord it sounds really strange. And then we go off to the A flat anyway. Then a passing chord, chordal voicing D11 again that we had. Then back to the original D flat, 9 sus 4. And those are all eight notes. I mean, I played the rubato, and I think you should too, because it's just such a freely song form. If you played with the band, very low tempo, um, but these are eight notes, so this can become a bit tricky. Gotta practice it. Now E flat 7 sharp 9. I just uh, for some change I just uh, arpeggiate it. Then B9 actually all the way just to the B string. Right? And now the E major uh, last bar before you repeat everything or before the ending chords. So here is a nice E6-9 sharp 11, this is actually. Low E string, it always sounds great, such a fat sound. Quadal voicing again, I just love those. E11, I know that's not ba basically a major sound because it has the 11th in there obviously, and that's the avoid note of the major sound. Especially since I had the sharp 11 before. Uh, here. But it's just a passing chord. You can do anything on passing chords, right? And then we go back to um, E major 9 13. That's the inner four strings now of that quadal voicing. Oh, sorry. Then A7. So I chose an A9 flat 5. Oops. You can play with a thumb or with the fingers. Then just a basic A7 chord. But it sounds cool, right? With the G in bass. It's just an A chord with the G in bass. I love this so much because it makes it sound like some sophisticated uh, chord, but it's totally not. It's just an A7. Then I <clears throat> play a tritone sub for B flat, the 5 chord that takes me to the E flat. 
Um, so the last chord is E major, sharp 11 actually, because the melody is a sharp 11, right? So I didn't find anything good for A with the uh, flat 9. Well, I, it would be a dominant. Of course you can find something A with a flat 9 on top, but it's very low, all right? So I went for this um, E major 7 chord with the sharp 11 on top. And that resolves to either the beginning chord, actually the B flat is already in this, and so on and so forth, or to the ending. And right now I'm going to play the ending for you. So the ending is after this E major 7 sharp 11, I go to an E flat minor uh, major 9. Just imagine an E flat minor 9 and the uh, dominant, uh, the, the flat 7 goes to the major 7, right? Then I add the A flat on top. Then it goes to E major, so the ending, original ending E flat minor, E major, E flat minor. So E major, I go to E major sharp 5, plus the A flat afterwards, or G sharp to be correct now. And then it goes back to E flat minor. I didn't want to go back to that E flat minor major nine, so I went for a different voicing. I love this ending voicing actually. The root would be here. We start from the minor third, so it's minor third, fifth, major seven, and ninth. It's a minor major nine chord at the end, like this one, but just a little different. But I added some more embellishment in there, so I don't play up until here, but just the first three notes. Add the G-sharp again, that we had here as the melody all the time, motif. Then play um, 7 and 8 here. That's a 6. And then resolve it to a normal E-flat minor 7 chord. Because we had all the fancy stuff going on before. But you can land on any of those minor major chords, this one or this one, and make it end if you prefer that. Okay, so the ending uh, is all right, and here's the entire phrase three for you at slow tempo. liked my rendition of Goodbye Pork Pie Hat, please give it a fat thumbs up if you did so. And don't forget to share the love and the knowledge and I see you next week. Servus, baba.